record of the guard on Haven. They're 13 and 0 on Haven since the beginning of this year. And uh, Xelon are pretty good here, but the guard have even better record, uh, stats and records. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I, I, but I think they did a really good job of setting the scene on the desk, Dan. We haven't seen a lot of Valen off of the Astral roll, right? We, we really haven't. And playing Brimstone is a lot different. Or playing Viper, for example, is a lot different than playing Omen. Omen is an individual play agent, right? He has his TP, he has a Paranoia, he can capitalize on this stuff. How does Valen play on this role? I think that'll decide whether you know, that streak continues. I completely agree. And we're going to get a push into that B site. Leaf walking in is very mischievous there from Leaf. The dash, he's in a link. And now the spike will be planted. And the guard not throwing anything in too haphazardly. They're going to make sure they can coordinate this one. You can see, you know, the guard is just waiting for an aggression into one of these links, but it's not going to happen. And Vanity getting the, the first blood. That's yeah, so a great pick with the classic use of the shock dart will allow Trent a kill, but the response here from Cloud9 is fantastic so far. Four versus one, and Valen will go down, and that's going to be the opener for Cloud9. I love to see that just you know walking in, walking into the B side. Yeah. It was a great call from them. Yeah, I mean, I'm, we said at the beginning of the Spesso three privately, Dan, we we're like, oh, Cloud9, they banned split and like let, they wanted Haven to be the third map. I think we're going to see a lot of counters coming out of Cloud9 on this map, if I'm being honest. They probably thought the Guard could have picked this map instead of Bind. So I think they are very familiar with how the Guard plays, and that's why they just walked into that B site. With that said, look at this stack on C that they're about to run into. That's oh. my stuff. That's what you expect from Sire player. Put anything with a scope in his hands and body's going to start dropping. Gets another connection, I believe, onto Vanity. And they, they've been very softened up here. And again, the guard, they are the ones without the buy here. They just have side player on that, that marshal. And look at the disruption. Cloudline have to completely abandon their, their plan. And they've lost their initiator. Their, one of the main initiators here, Breach is gone. You can see now. Is that actually... He also has no initiator utility to clear this A site, so this is going to feel a little weird for Cloud9 to enter, but only Trent is here. And we get the advantage on the site taken happily by Cloud9. And this, this is really the best way this could have gone. And however, Jonah P can set up some flashes for the drop outside of Heaven, and they can try to make their way forward. That Cloudburst will delay things a little bit. But that, that is really the only play that's available here. The quick bird flash out of this heaven position to drop and check hell. But there's nobody there. Quick pop flash that does catch Mitch just, just briefly. But there's far too much in place for this to be a problem. Sire player will do what he can. But nothing Ooh. to answer the dark cover. The tag. He couldn't even get out. He just wanted to take that classic burst shot on Mitch. Just get one kill before he goes out. They wouldn't even let him through the smoke. Now we get the first buy coming in. You can see the breach. The breach is where you want to look at right now in this attack half. So you can see Zeta, he's lining up that fault line right now for long long A. And this is going to be an A default through and through. They have the alarm bot set up for the C push. Mitch is going to make sure he's controlling this B garage push, maybe with a turret here. And he's just going to allow the teammates to work A slowly. And A lobby will be taken control of one. Oh no, yeah, straight into C window. Garage player is gone. Gonna be out of the picture. That's that's painful. Losing Sky like that. Sky is super helpful in retaking positions. You really don't, yeah. don't want to give a position away, and that means you know we've got the guard stacking three on A. It's even worse because the lurker got the pick, Dan, which is terrible news if you're on defense. When the lurker gets the frag, it creates this sense that there's more people on that side of the map. You can see now the guard is debating this triple short A push. I oh. think they're going to hit a pretty good timing on it too. Yeah, they're going to catch Mitch and they take Mitch down. But the problem with that is that Lee, that oh. gives him the info and he had the position to fully punish that one. Unfortunately, it, became, it was a timing that became quickly an anti-timing for uh, the guard, sadly for them. And like you say, all, I mean, all of this was, you know, them losing Jonah P really early on. It made it very difficult.
Yeah, it's it's Cloud9's bonus round, and their lurker found a bulldog spam kill through the garage window onto the enemy sky. I mean, that's just nightmare fuel for the card. Bomb grenade out. How many bursts does that even take <laughs> from the bulldog? I mean, that new burst hits stiff. Probably just a couple bursts. Damn, just drilling through with the bulldog. And yeah, so Cloud9 will get a good start here. And again, we, we know that the record for the guard is, is pretty phenomenal on Haven. This is this is their most dominant map by far. Again, 13-0 stats. Their, their round rim on the defense percentage is 63% of rounds won on defense. And they're 67% on attack. So they're pretty rounded and very formidable on both sides of the Haven. Yeah, but like, like I said, Dan, those stats, those are in an old meta. Those are in a meta where... And we have that timeout. And the Guardian, they don't have much to throw into this round. Net carrying forward that Phantom, but otherwise his teammates outside of that hero rifle will be on Sheriffs. So yeah, the whole situation is pretty dry for both teams at the moment. Ooh, Vanity kind of throwing it back a meta. Look at that. I think he's going to smoke the top of C-Long. So that way these guys can get the orb. And this is something we haven't seen a lot in the Astro. Whoa! Net spamming Vanity right through the C-Long smoke. He sensed the pop. That's actually insane. The hero rifle and in exactly the right place at the right time. And what is the response there? They're just going to go forward bursting. And we'll try to brute force this one. Nice shot from Valen though off of the Omen. That's Sheriff. But it's going to be a three versus three. With site control now for Cloud9. They're taking their time Ooh. here with this plan. Mitch They're going to go for it. Locked down. Mitch will get locked down. Does he use it right away? There it is. Oh, good call. And they're going to try to punish this one. They got 10 seconds to get every single frag. There's the updraft. It doesn't get the value they needed. And every second that passes, the round becomes unwinnable. And there we have it. They had to go for that timing. Otherwise, it would be a complete reset in the post plant for C9. They couldn't let it happen. And it didn't work out. It's it's so crazy how quick these teams can think on the fly. It's one thing for me to have all yes. of the info <laughs> and say, hey, Mitch is going to plant the spike. But they're actively deciding this on the fly without all of this info on their screen, guys. They're saying, oh, Mitch, you plant the spike. You're going to get locked down. You locked down. We're in a three on three. That'll give us an advantage. There's, all of this is happening very, very quickly for Cloud9. And it's not something that they can practice. It just shows how good this team is. And at all times, the other team has to know the counterplay. They have to be exactly. prepared for or They have to have that in their head. They know how good the other team is. The other team will probably do the optimal counterplay. We get the A lobby take from C9 early on. There's a setup here, though, from the guard. They, they want to really punish this. If you wait enough time, you might get a catch with off of this flash. Look at C9's setup. I mean, if this flash catches... Zeta, he hops behind the wall and his teammate pops out unblind. It is a god tier setup to prevent this exact play. The anti flash setup for sure is strong. It's just on the razor's edge here between both of these teams. Oh. Side player is peeking this long corner despite that fault line. He has all the info, but the B site's already been lost. Planet's too fast. And Leaf gets in there, gets that initial clearance of the drone. And oh, the paranoia. Great punish from Beautiful. Leaf, the assist from Vanity. That's that omen value coming through now for Cloud9. They've taken that B site, but it is hard to hold on to the B site, especially in these gun rounds. They're going for the committed battles, and they're going to push this A-Link position. At the same time, C-Link is open, and there is a way in. There's two players there for the guard, but waiting for the smokes there from Valen. He doesn't have a paranoia available. No flashes to get in. They're going to have to win these gunfights, and running straight into Sire player won't be the way... Or rather, sorry, running straight into the leaf won't be the way for Sire player now as and then that have so many problems on their hands and just no solutions. TPing away. It's fast, but not fast enough for Leaf. <laughs> and leaf just he is such a good player. He's such a good player. We casted him last week playing Viper. This week he's playing Breach on Bind. Right now he's playing Jet. Obviously, he's playing Jet. I mean, this guy's jet is unreal. I I, I wasn't aware he could play the other roles. But he can do those too. This player is insane. And Leaf is going to be here for a long time. He's 12 and 2 right now, carrying his team through this third map. Cloud9 up 5 0 and have forced the guard on yet another eco round. 
Well, they're going for a paranoia play out of grass with this eco buy of theirs, the half buy with these sheriffs. And it doesn't work out. You can see Cloud9 Expectant caught that one. And in the meantime, you know, side players cleared some space towards their lobby as Cloud9 defend the other parts of the map. And this is exactly what I was referring to earlier, uh, previously. You know, on these eco rounds, teams will hang on to their ult. So you can see, oh, wow. Mitch spams net right through the garage door. Killjoy diff in. But they'll sit on these ults on these rounds because they're more important on the gun rounds. So you can see Zeppa pulled out his Seekers and then he thought about it. And now he's going to actually use them. I think this is maybe a misplay given where we are in the round in the match. Ah, but... Maybe Cloud9 looks to secure this round and bolster their economy a bit. Yeah, and w we can look at the ult economy difference after the round is over and kind of assess if they're still in the lead. Because then I think it's, it is okay, but yeah, they're just trying to make it as impossible as they can. And Trent doing some just a little damage there, taking down Zeta, but ultimately Cloud9 get what they want, which is a very powerful round. Four players survive, keep their, keep their economy growing, and... I didn't catch the old economy there, but I would expect they're still in an, are they, are they an advantage. Zeta's one orb off of this Rolling Thunder. Okay. And if I know anything about Cloud9, they want to get him the Rolling Thunder. He's like, he's going towards C. I think Zeta is going to go for this orb. Okay, well, we'll see if there is any punish to be had. The guard were able to spray it, uh, spray the smoke, the deep smoke that covered it last time. But they might just get it and swing with players and then just take the fight. In fact, they're just, yeah, they are sending it here. Oh, so, oh no, he's sending it. Past it. Well, oh. Net, he's going to try to get some value oh. there, but Leaf able to catch that play. There was very little space to work with. He just used all of his plays on the Seekers. I respect Ted it. doesn't care. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> and trying to hold on to the backside position. That's really important to control. Under Fury sent forward to try to clear that backside. And that's the spike. That's the spike down at the back of the site, and they know exactly where the spike is. And they can hold Vanity the line. Could TP to get it. I think Vanity might TP to get this. Oh, no. Actually, Leaf is just going to go run. Got the spike. Oh, my Whoa. goodness. He's playing in the open. There goes the paranoia. They're going for it. They still can't plant the spike. Try to capitalize. Jonah, P, and Trent come through like a sledgehammer right through the brick wall. And there is nothing left but rubble. That was a beautiful retake. Wow, what a retake from the guard. The find with the Hunter's Fury from Trent onto Zeta. They, they were trying to get Breach this Rolling Thunder. That was why he was planting the spike. They were going to use it in the post plant. But the, the Hunter's Fury saves the day and prevents all of that. And the stall is too good from the guard. This is, and this is such a critical round now, Sean, because the momentum shift could be upon us if the guard convert. They instead has the Rolling Thunder now, though. Net has a lockdown for retake for the guard. So we have these two pivotal ults for either side. You can see the round has completely slowed down other than Leaf. Who, oh, he goes in garage. He's picking with this off. This is bold. This is very bold. Takes a shot and falls back out of there. That forces a flash into Garage to re-clear it for the guard. At the same time, Cloud9 moving towards this A position. And I mean, we have Sire player here. He wants he needs to get a kill ahead of the push if he gets that timing. <gasps> oh no, he's gonna oh, get he's by the dead. thunder. He might be extremely dead here. He's sitting, he's sitting on the top of the boxes in the clouds. First, he's still alive for now, but eventually no he's traded. But has he done enough? His teammates able to get a couple kills in there. It's still even here. Three versus three. And, and as he goes for the plant, leave on the aggression. Looking for a timing. He hears the run. He's the catch. He catches the run. Oh my no! He d denies the ability for the punish on the lockdown. And now the lockdown comes into play. Zeppa has to go for an aggressive play as well. He takes down one. He knows there's someone else. Jonah P with a critical defense of the lockdown. And now Vanity with the fake TP. Does he get one looking away now? Does he cast the seed of doubt? He isolates the one versus one, but he misses the shot. And Trent won't miss that one. And it's a very important round, Sean. So the guard can keep Whoa. some momentum. Holy, let's all take a deep breath. <laughs> Leaf had the play. Leaf had the play. That was going to cement Cloud9 to win this series right there. Cloud9 was going to run away with this series. He was going to stop this lockdown from happening. Oh, but the trail no. of bullets. Oh, no.
they're going to show it to us to again that we're going to get the run back on that way. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Obviously, Leaf is an insane player, but just the the magnitude of the outcome from that one situation. He's 17 and four. How does that happen to the oh, 17 Oh, that's the four? one kill, Sean. <laughs> Why okay. is it like this? That is incredible. Oh, my God. Goodness, the only way for them to win the rounds for the guard is to get that lockdown in place. Leaf knows it. He's waiting for it. He hears it and he has the timing and it just doesn't work out. It won't always work out. Okay, and that's why we love that's why we love Elite Esports, Sean, because stuff like that can happen in the most unexpected moments. And yes. this could be the run for the guard now. They've set up themselves to make it to run it back. Yeah, yeah, they got through the round with the Rolling Thunder. Look at Cloud9's ult economy. They have no ults to work with. You know, this is where the guard could make their comeback. That's why I said that frag was way more than one frag if the guard come back into this game. But they need to get by this round first. And we may see a slow round here because neither team yeah. has ults. Both teams want to jockey for position early on. C9 is slowing the pace. You're absolutely right. Look at this. The guard faking a lobby control with the the smoke combined with the recon coming in from the Sova. But Cloud9 is taking quick garage control yet again to leave. He's done this so often, punishing the kill to a utility. He's threatening the seaside heavily. And in fact, it's not just a threat. They're going to try to go for the full push. Fantastic shot, though, from Net to take down Leaf. The trade's in. Backside is contested, but it looks like it's a contest won here by Cloud9. Although Trent still left alive in the 1v3. The guard need a miraculous clutch from Trent. They need him to somehow find a way to at least make this painful. We heard two shots. He has, yeah. But Mitch is going to find him in Cloud9. 2-7, Dan. Off suit right now for the card. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And I, I'm, I'm curious what the money... Yeah, the money is not amazing here. And there's no Blade Storm. There's nothing to kind of offset the money situation. Are they going to go for like a hero rifle and a half buy on the rest? That might be what they do here. In fact, side play looks like he can kind of spend some money and still buy next with the hero rifle. Yeah, I, I think the guard realized they're at a place in this half where they need hero rifles. They need some kind of luck. They need something to go their way. And half investments like this deep into the half might be what they need. Oh, that, oh man. Leaf. Leaf's the juggernaut, and there's no stopping this guy. He is looking to take Jonah P down as well. But Jonah P trying to keep himself alive, but sprayed down. And Cloud9 opening up this A site with ease five versus two now and this is how it was supposed to go and that is exactly how it oh hang on that little wait like, I, oh. wait a second <laughs> i thought they patched the the teleport location thing yeah i guess not still some work to be done work in progress there you go eight to two Holy, the guard. I mean, they were in this exact situation on Ascent. But this is just... This is so, so difficult right now. They find themselves in a new meta. They're in-game leaders on a new agent, and he's struggling. Look at him down there. 2 and 10. Balin. We mentioned it before. The, the guard have won 13 straight this year on this map. All of those matches, though, Balin was on the Astra roll. So yes. it might take some time in this patch for him to settle into this. He might actually end up opting to go with Brimstone or going back to Astra. We're still in early days. We have a four player set up here. But the guards really going for that heavy control towards their lobby. But little do they know, it is a massive swell of players making the C-split happen here for Cloud9. And well, how does Net deal with this? It's so tempting to try to make a play, but just as no reasonably cannot get there into that lockdown to challenge it. It's going to have to give it up. Play for the retake. Jonah P goes down meanwhile. And this retake will be interesting given the players of the guard. The positions of the guard. Oh, Zephyr's angle. Are they going to clear this, Dan? He just sprayed that. I don't think they're going to clear it. And Zephyr's going to take down one. Here's a second player being served up, but it's Trent. Trent now making his way forward. There's the slowdown. Nice shot from Ooh. Trent. 
so confident, but it's got to be followed up by his teammates, and they will. Up to Net now. Net unable to do anything against the Blades. Leaf sends them straight to his face. And that's the ninth round in the bag now for Cloud9. And I have a stat for you, Sean, a quick stat. So <laughs> the only time that uh, the guard found themselves in this position on the defense where they were down this many rounds, where they had a 210 finish was against 100 Thieves. They won that match, but they they had to win it by get, taking it to overtime. And that was with Astra, of course, as well, as you've mentioned. Yeah. And they also didn't have a Leaf on their team. <laughs> That's, on their teams, true. Right? That's true. That's true. This man is just insane. He's 22 and 5 right now. We're 11 rounds in. They finally found the answer. The last round of the half, Valen takes out Leaf. But Sai is stuck. The paranoia catches him. Everyone making individual plays here around the map, around Garage, around B. And right now, the guard holding onto that B position. We've got also Net holding onto Garage, drops the lockdown. That's going to just basically ruin Cloud9's ability for this forward space. And they move into the back setup around a lobby and they have only one way to go and you know what the guard can hear it and they know it and there's a the smoke they have to go through it though with the flash because oh they send the trailblazer through but it drops the spike because he doesn't know what's beyond it that will slow the timing down for this plant uh right now the guard have to be cautious they have a three versus two but they're all split up sean yeah net on this long flank could make things so difficult oh the the Omenol spots them both short, so now Net progresses up long, knowing where both of these players are. Oh, Lion getting lined up here and trying to set up his teammate. They combine it with the flash. The timing's really good, but protected by the dark cover. Don't get hit by that flash. Sire player with... Oh, no! no, way, no way. Here's all, here's all! Here comes the Rolling Thunder! Is there a punish? Can he make it happen? Oh, no way! Absolutely the quad kill from Zeta. The Rolling Thunder comes in clutch, and Cloud9 finished that first half on Haven, the deciding map. 10 to 2. The god, they did it against 100 Thieves. What a crazy performance from Cloud9. They're really catching the god off balance. And it's a tough road. They have shown nothing but resilience their entire, entire career so far in the last three months together. And again, they've won 13 Havens and lost zero. This could be the spoiler. Cloud9 could be playing the spoiler right now. I mean, we do have a superstition here about the number 13 you know that does exist unfortunately for the guard yeah it, but this is going to be a garage split to see dan and i think they have a very good chance of running vanity over he's going to play retake this site is the guards but the quick garage retake from leaf and it works and he's out and he's out scot free no punish at all net able to take down mitch so that's something in return and they're holding back side control oh, no way no God, way leaf. three with the frenzy they line up and he, it's a strike. And there's Give nothing the left. Go get it. Go get that ace, Leaf. What? Uh, Ness going to use that. He's fan, fan himself uh, off, man. It, oh, wow. He's sweating. I don't... It, it, I mean, what do you do? What do you do about this? How many kills does Leaf even have right now? Five. It's an ace Five to open round. up the second half. Ace. How do you How do you respond to this? How do you respond? It's just, it's just a dial tone right now for the guard. There's just nobody on the other end of the line. You respond by start looking into your matchup with the number two seed. Oh, on no. Day, because Leaf came today with the expectation of getting this number one seed. And he's going to get it. What a round by the star player on Cloud9. 27 and 6. 13 what? rounds in. What? He's right. Yeah, what? Infinity has four kills. This guy's 27. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we get... It's the force buys. Again, we talked about it on the Ascent. The guard are in that spot. They can't wait for good buys. They have to just take the risk of multiple, like, awful buys versus one okay-ish buy. It sucks, but that's where they are. And look at the Trailblazer going forward. Sending it through mid. Perhaps expecting the guards to make a play there. But the guard are just... They are waiting for information. And now they're grouping up the turret's gonna catch catch one player here. Ooh, the turret spazzed out. Yeah. Are right, now walking up this A site. Alarm bots on short. And Mitch is he's aware of this pounce possibility. Cloud9 is playing out of the site. They're just they're giving it to the guard. 
Molly under heaven. Take Sai at a half health. Oh, look, look at Nets flank, Dan. I think that's something we need to be on the lookout for right now. He is going to be in spawn in about two seconds. There you go. We'll see if he can hit that perfect timing. His teammates need to create the delay for Net to be able to do damage here. And it looks good. The timing looks pretty good. They have to hold on just a moment longer. There it is. Net activated on the flank. Looking to take down one more. But Cloud9 winning every single fight. And even though the spike goes down, they cannot defend. And Cloud9 on match and series point. Jeez. Cloud9. They're just... They're on another level here today in these, these last two maps. Bind looked really sketchy for them when it came to... It, I say that in a sense of the guard crushed them. The guard looked fantastic on Bind. They looked phenomenal. Cloud9 looked very good as well. But on these last two maps, they have proven without a doubt in my mind they are the number one team in North America. This has been an excellent showing from Cloud9 here today on these fall... These, the later half of this series... And this is championship mentality and how they came back into this series. Yeah, I totally agree. But with that said, we get an opening pick from Sire. Play the drone follow-up to catch Leaf. <gasps> protected. Leaf got protected. Oh, and this guy oh, no. is dangerous. An absolute menace there. Takes down one. The confidence at an all-time high. We'll be able to deal with Trent and then fall off. So they equalize. Four versus four. And Leaf is looking for more. And he's going to no get way. it. He can't fail. He hasn't even hit yet, Dan. He's 150 <laughs> It seems unfair right now. The guard, they're trying to recover three versus four. They've claimed some space back to garage. And I don't think that Cloudline expect them to retake the position so quickly. Now Jun uh, Zephyr takes his time. He turns back because they got the info. And it's up to Sire player and Valen. Two versus three now. Be able to get the plant down. But Leaf's still running around with the Blaze Storm. And there's the updraft. Here he goes. It's picked out of the sky. And it's up to Sire player. 33 health. The Blaze Storm comes through. He has Whoa. to connect. He has to connect. There's no choice. He can't do anything but connect. Zephyr takes him down, and there's nothing left at all. Oh. And Cloud9, they've done it, Sean. They've defeated the guard. They've destroyed their 13-0 and streak. It's just a thing of beauty, what they have shown to us today. It's, it's actually insane how Cloud9 came out and performed today. Some people, you know, I think Trent before this game said, you know, if we win, awesome, we're the best in our group. If we lose, it was just a seeding match. But this seeding match felt a little bit different than the ones we've casted in the past. Both these teams gave it their all today. You can see that they both wanted to get the top seed out of their group. And it was a treat to watch this. This was really eye-opening as far as...